Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mallory. If you are not new, welcome back. Can you hear the thunder? Welcome to Florida. Anyways, for today's video, I thought that it would be cute to show you guys, not cute, it would be cool to show you guys this cute trinket dish that I made um, using some dried flowers and clear butterfly stickers. So I purchased this mold from Amazon. It even comes with this cool little support system and coasters as well. So essentially you put the little coasters in the trinket dish, but for today's video, we're just making this dish. I do want to let you guys know though, after, oh my goodness. Um, I do want to let you guys know though, after finishing this project, I wish I would have used a thinner resin. So I normally use artist resin from Counterculture DIY, and it's great for all of my tumblers and coasters because it's um, obviously thicker than a thinner resin. However, um, I don't have to worry about air bubbles because I can actually hit the entire surface of the cup or the coaster with a torch or heat gun versus a mold like this where obviously your torch or your heat gun can't get all the way down there. So just a note to myself or to you guys, if you end up making something like this, definitely choose a thinner resin. It's going to help prevent air bubbles. It's going to allow the air bubbles to rise to the top easier. You'll be able to pop more of them with your torch. I just think overall it would have been a better choice for me. However, it still turned out really cute. So I will have all of the products that I use listed in the description below. If you guys have any comments or questions, definitely leave them in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. All right, so I have all of my supplies ready. I went ahead and mixed up 80 milliliters of epoxy total for this mold. You just wanna go ahead and place your mold into the wooden support box. And I have 60 milliliters of epoxy in a larger cup and 20 milliliters in a smaller cup. I mixed it really well. I let it sit for about five minutes and then I just wanna pop any of these air bubbles with my heat gun. Once I did that, I was ready to start adding the gold leafing. So I just tore off about three or four little sheets and kind of broke them up. Less is more, it really goes a long way here. Mix it really well and you'll kind of see some more air bubbles. So let it sit for a couple more minutes and then hit it once more with your heat gun to pop those bubbles before you pour it into your mold. So this is really easy, really straightforward, you guys. We're just gonna dump that whole cup into the mold. Definitely make sure that you scrape the cup. You don't wanna waste any epoxy. Make sure you get it all in there. And then I'm gonna come in with these clear butterfly stickers and I'm just using some tweezers and I'm gonna place them in the mold upside down. Now, remember, because the mold is upside down right now, you wanna place your butterflies upside down so when you take everything out, they will be facing right side up. So I just went ahead and I placed one butterfly along each of the sides, making sure that they were pushed all the way down to the bottom. Again, make sure you put them in upside down. I made the mistake the first time I made this and completely forgot. So once you get your butterflies all in there, I'm gonna take these dried flowers. So they all come pre-packaged and you just open them up and I just pulled off a few little pieces and placed them sporadically throughout the mold. I started with some of the bigger colored flowers and then I went in there with a few of the greenery. So again, you guys, this is really easy. You're just gonna take your tweezers, you're gonna take whatever flowers or pieces of leaves you want, and you're just gonna push it down into the epoxy. Make sure that you kind of wipe off your tweezers in between each one, or each time that you place it into the resin, just so you're not making a big mess, and obviously wipe off your tweezers when you're done. So once I was done applying all of the leaves and the flowers and the butterflies, I put one more butterfly on the bottom 
just to kind of even it all out. And if you remember, we had 20 milliliters of epoxy left over, and I went ahead and just poured that all over. I let this sit for about five more minutes. I hit it with the heat gun to pop any air bubbles. Make sure you're not using a torch on this part because you will melt the plastic. I covered it and then I let it sit overnight. So it's the next morning, we're ready to unmold or demold, I don't know, whichever is the proper term. <laughs> so we're ready to take it out of the little support system and then just be careful here, you guys. The edges might be a little bit sharp. You wanna be careful when you're putting your finger down there that you don't um, cut your finger. I did a little bit. <laughs> So just go ahead and pull the mold off. Be careful, be gentle. You don't wanna rip the silicone mold. And that's it. Um, you might need to run a file along the edges, but this is just kind of a decorative piece that's gonna sit on my dresser. So that's it, you guys. I think it was a really cute little fun piece to make. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching.